today I'm doing a sort of off-topic video for you. Um, I'm going to be showing you this guy's room right here. Say hi. This is Ari. He's my firstborn. And how old are you, Ari? Okay. Tell everyone how old you are. Okay. One? Are you this many? He is 21 months old. I didn't want to do anything that was too babyish for his nursery. I just wanted to keep it so that he could grow with it. And uh, I, at first I kind of wanted to do like a, he likes to look at pictures of himself. <gasps> look. Yeah. So I wanted to keep it sort of in like a woodland theme, although that's not what it turned out to be. It's more of like a colorful, fun, playful nursery toddler room. So come on in and I'll give you the tour. Okay, so here we go into Ari's bedroom. Now the first thing you're going to notice is this amazing wall that me and Austin put up together. I wanted to do something woodsy in Ari's room and uh, we looked for wood decals or shiplap that we could put up on this wall and everything was so expensive and we found this on Lowe's and we did this entire wall for $120 I think and it only took us a couple hours. These letters I bought at Hobby Lobby 50% off and then this mobile. I saw a ton of ideas on Pinterest for making this kind of mobile and I ordered the little wool balls on Etsy and you can actually pick the colors you want. Yeah, I think it turned out really great. Ari's crib we got on Target.com. And I don't think it's important to spend a ton of money on the crib because they outgrow it so quickly. We had a coupon for this crib. And I believe we only paid $150 for it. He loves all of his little animals in here and his baby sissy doll. We have the Burt's Bees sheets on here. We just gave him a pillow a couple of days ago. He's 21 months old and we figured it was time to let him have a pillow. And every night before he goes to bed, we wrap him up in his Aiden and Anais wearable blanket. Over here in the corner, I have his basket that I use for his dirty clothes. And instead of a diaper genie, I just hung this cute little hook on the wall and I use a trash bag, fill it up every day and take it to the trash. I got this dresser on Craigslist for, I don't know, I think it was $50. I got the lamp at Home Goods as well as the mirror. One thing I knew I wanted for Ari was a CD player and we love to dance every single day together. So this was really important. You can hook it up to your phone um, and do Bluetooth. You can do FM, AM, or a CD. And he loves this Raffi singable songs for the very young. Ari cannot sleep without his sound machine. So we have the Home Medics. And I'll just turn it on for him. Turn on the white noise. And we close his blackout curtains over here to make the room very dark. And what you'll notice is I um, velcroed them to the side so there was no gaps. So we don't have any kind of sunlight coming in when I close them. And I also velcroed it here and down there. But you can see this room gets very, very, very dark. So I got the rod and the curtains at Home Goods. Now the glider was a surprise find at Costco. We were looking for gliders online forever. And we actually ordered a couple and we got them they, and they were so uncomfortable. When I saw this one at Costco, I knew that we had to get it it's super comfortable. It reclines, it swivels, it rocks. It's fabulous. 
And we have his monitor here. We had to put it kind of at a far reach from the crib because Ari kept pulling it down. My mom actually painted this bunny for us before Ari was born. Isn't that cute? My sister actually knit this blanket for Ari. And isn't it perfect in here? It goes with all the colors. And it's so soft. So then we have his favorite part of the room. We have the bookshelf. We have a picture of me and Ari Leindijk at the Indy 500. When I was pregnant with Ari, we met up with him and had him sign my belly. I'm glad we got this picture. And then he loves his little donkey. He bounces on this before he goes to bed. And it's a great way to wear out some energy. Okay, now we have his closet. Got everything quite nicely organized in here. We have some books in here that he's probably not going to read until he's older. Um, this is a giveaway pile. Um, these are long sleeve shirts that he probably won't be wearing this summer. Some extra swaddle blankets. And here we just have some shoes. We've got some toys. Some more toys. And some stuffed animals. We have all of his clothes hung up in there. Up top we've got toys that he'll eventually bring down. Cars and Legos. Dominoes. And on this side of the closet we have some plastic drawers I got that kind of just hold. Um, there's shoes. More shoes. Swim diapers toys, more toys, this is winter ski stuff, this is stuff that he hasn't grown into yet, hats, um, just bibs, glasses, mittens, and then all of his swimsuits. This is great to have, it's like a hanging sweater. Thing, and I just use it for his blanket. It's great. And again, up above, toys that we haven't brought down for him yet. Okay, so now I will show you his dresser over here. In this first top left drawer, we have socks. We've got wool socks in here, regular socks in here. Down here, we've got pajamas. And down here, I don't think we have anything right now. This is usually where I put the spare diapers. This middle drawer here, we've got diapers. We have um, wipes, and this stuff is really great. It's diaper area wash, so if he has any kind of diaper rash or any redness, instead of using wipes, we use this and then wash him down with one of these. So this is just extra stuff that we need in here for changing diapers, nail clippers, stuff like that. Now this little middle area is great. It holds his extra mattress pad cover, sheets, changing pad cover. Up here is kind of like a junk drawer. Um, just kind of has random stuff in it. More CDs for a CD player, a travel sound machine, boogie wipes, um, toys, so if I'm changing him and he's not loving it, I just distract him with something that's in here and he's good. In this middle drawer on the right, we have his pants and shorts. And then finally in this drawer, we have some sweats that he doesn't necessarily need in the summertime. And then our plastic bags that I use to hang over here, I put extra in the bottom down here. Over here behind the door, something I love, it's a little hook that I can use to hang whatever up over here. And then of course in the corner we have his little growth chart and he loves standing over here and seeing how much he's grown. Okay, so that was Ari's room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave some comments below 
and uh, we'd love to see pictures of your nursery. Yeah. So go ahead and put those on Instagram and tag Beat and Jean. Stay tuned. Next week, I'm going to be uploading a video of my baby girl, Eliza's nursery. And yeah, so look out for that. Please subscribe down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.